Video Boost is officially here on Pixel 8 Pro. Woo! Hey friends, I'm Teja Custodi, and this is how to use Video Boost on Pixel 8 Pro. And yes, this is a pro feature, so right now it's only available on Pixel 8 Pro devices. It can't be used on Pixel 8 or earlier devices. All right, let's jump in. So Video Boost actually rolled out in December of 2023, but it's been a bit of a slow rollout. So if you don't have it yet, don't panic. It is coming, especially since we're getting a new feature drop imminently. And just make sure you're keeping your camera app up to date. So Video Boost does, as the name suggests, it aims to improve video quality. It's using AI to automatically adjust a video's lighting, color, stabilization, and graininess. It's also being touted as a way to enhance detail in low light situations. Think Night Sight, but for Video Boost. In fact, there's Video Boost with Night Sight. So here's how to use it. Once you've got the latest update, you'll open your camera app and switch to video mode. You may or may not get a pop-up here promoting Video Boost if it's your first time using the camera app since gaining the feature, but if not, you're gonna select Video Settings in the bottom left. Turn the toggle for Video Boost on. The icon for Video Boost looks like a little video camera with a star on it. You're gonna know you're in Video Boost mode because you'll now see that icon in the top left of your camera app. Switching to Video Boost mode will automatically adjust the settings to 4K at 30 frames per second, but you can change that back at any time. So I will tap on my icon in the top left and that'll bring up my settings again. And from here I can switch it back to FHD. Also, if you toggle back to camera mode or close the camera app, the next time you go into video mode, your video boost will not be active. So keep that in mind. You'll have to readjust the settings again, but once you've toggled video boost on, all that's left is for you to record your video as you normally would. And before we see examples of Video Boost in action, there are a couple of other important things to keep in mind. First, when you use Video Boost, a temporary video file will be stored on your phone. It uses this temporary file to make the boosted or higher quality video. While this temporary video file is being boosted, it does not use up your Google Photos storage space on the cloud. However, you may notice that the temporary file can take up available storage space on your phone. To save space, your phone automatically deletes the temporary file after your boosted video is ready. Second, as of right now, the maximum video length for shooting with Video Boost is 10 minutes. Third, it can take quite a bit of time to actually process this boosted video. And that all depends on how much improvement it's making in the video, the length of the video, the frame rate, and so on. Fourth, you need to use Google Photos to backup and process Video Boost videos. This shouldn't be an issue since you're using a Pixel 8 Pro. But just be aware that Video Boost follows the backup settings that you've set in Google Photos. So if you've set Google Photos to backup over Wi-Fi only, Video Boost will not upload or download over mobile data. Fifth, this process will run in the background. So it's helpful to have notifications on for your Google Photos app so you'll get notified when Video Boost process is done. Which by the way, you'll be able to view videos on mobile or desktop just like you'd expect in Google Photos. And sixth, at least as of right now, you cannot apply Video Boost to already existing videos. So if you have access to Video Boost, you actually need to enable it and then shoot your video in order for it to work. You can't apply it to an already shot, already existing video, even if you've just recorded it. Make sense? All right, now that you're familiar with how to use Video Boost, let's see some examples, shall we? I tried a few different lighting examples. So first I tried a nice, beautiful, sunny day to see if I even noticed any type of discernible difference. So here's a short video clip of the palm trees and I pan on over to the oleanders and then I go back again. I really kind of tried to move around to see how the stabilization would work too. Okay, it's not bad, it's a fine video. Now let's do this same thing with Video Boost on. For this first example, I left Video Boost on FHD, by the way, to really see if I could get any difference as this is opposed to just the normal FHD. The biggest thing I notice is the crispness and the detail of the palm tree leaves with Video Boost. The colors look a little bit richer too. Really not bad for keeping it on FHD. Next, I went to the shade to focus on my plants and gorgeous orange tree in the backyard with Video Boost off. 
I'm moving around again here, and then I'm going to manually walk in towards this group of oranges here. Now let's do the same thing with Video Boost on, but this time with 4K enabled. So the quality is a little bit better as assumed, probably based on the 4K quality, but again, look at these colors. They're more vibrant, almost deeper, and the crispness of the orange tree leaves are really quite something. This video is a little more stable as well, and goodness, it almost seems more in focus. Now, I grabbed a still of each of these videos so you could compare here as an image, frame by frame, and you can really see the difference in quality. Look at the beautiful detail Video Boost version picked up. Whoa. Now I will say, in real life, my oranges aren't this vibrant, but goodness, this colorization and clarity of this Video Boost clip sure is pretty, isn't it? And now for the big test, the nighttime video. I have been waiting for this since Google first announced Video Boost with Night Sight back in the fall when they launched the Pixel 8 Pro. They touted this as being pretty remarkable. I mean, a literal Night Sight for video. So let's run a test and see how it actually did. So here's the normal video, and this is kind of what's going on. There are two ambient lights in my video. There's a light by my garage that was on, and then as you go up, this little walkway path here, there is a motion light that was on. So you can see that lighting up that path a little bit. But check out what happens when I switch to the video boost with night sight. It is brighter, the tree branches look crisper, and I don't know, but right here, if you caught it, but when I pan down this tree, the motion light that was on the side of the house actually turns off. So the rest of the video, there was only one ambient light, not two. And look at how bright it still is. Consider me impressed. But there are two very important things I have noticed about Video Boost with Night Sight. First, I had also tried this in the backyard and it was very dark. I'm talking really no ambient light. And well, dark is dark. There really was no discernible difference between the videos and Video Boost tried its best but it was working with essentially very dark footage. So keep in mind, you do need some type of ambient lighting or some kind of lighting in the distance. Second, I found that while I was in shooting mode with Video Boost with Night Sight, it seemed darker on my screen, like almost harder to see what I was trying to take video of. But as you can tell from the really great footage out front of my house, that obviously was very much brightened up. So it's just a couple of little things to keep in mind. By the way, for those daytime video boost clips that you saw that were about 15 to 25 seconds, it took about an hour to process them. For video boost with night sight, it took all night. Okay, well, in fairness, I did go to bed, but that was after two and a half hours of waiting for the footage to back up and process. So these were really short clips. So you can only imagine how long it could take a 10 minute video file to process. Patience, grasshopper. And if you want any more Google Pixel 8 Pro magic, I've got a ton of videos linked for you in the description below. So now I wanna hear from you. Do you use Video Boost? Have you tried it? Do you love it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Google Pixel content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.